Hey everybody, it is I, Mr. Skids, and welcome back to the Stanley Parable! Our... Oh, it's so dark now. As you guys remembered, I kind of screwed around really badly last time and ended up following his orders after a little while, you know, after committing suicide first. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Also, I finally figured out that there was subtitles, because I'm a complete nimrod. If light is on, call extension 914 immediately. I can't call that number, but whatever. Escape. Oh. Oh. <gasps> I'm given the opportunity to escape. Escape! 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 Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. I don't care! Wait, 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 wait. Um... But of course, Stanley thought better of it. <laughs> realized he simply had too much to live for. <laughs> this goddamn game, stop reading my fucking every move! God damn it, dude! Why do you do these things to me? Okay, I guess I'm gonna follow orders from now on. Until later. Maybe I'll look, go through it later, but right now... Uh, I guess we'll, I'll follow all the directions of the madman behind the curtain. The lights rose on an enormous room Ooh. packed with television screens. Ooh. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Nope, I'm gonna jump, jump, gotta kill myself. I can't, I don't have the strength in me! Help me, Jesus! I don't have the strength! Cameras? Ooh. Uh, is there anything I can do with this? No, I guess I pressed the big button! Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. Ooh. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Oh. Oh, it's impressive. Oh, it's impressive. Mind controlled. Oh, that one's very red over there. Oh. Whoa. What do we We started from one to like, oh god, uh, 600 and like, one of them was like 602, 601 or whatever was fired. Fired. That one's blank. Those two are blank. What the hell is going on here? What the hell? The hell? This mind control oh. facility, it was too horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Some Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job job? That his oh, emotions God. had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Why are you lagging now? We've gone through so much together and now you're lagging. Well, fuck off. No, he refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? I think that's about over 50% of Americans, maybe more. Maybe like 70% of Americans. Here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Shh. Um... Ah. Uh, okay, I can't do nothing with those, so... Ah, uh, what, uh, oh, hold on. Could I turn mine on, potentially? Zero, zero, one. Whoa! Hello! This is a neat little effect. Hello, there are lights flying around me. 
521. 521, you say. Beep, boop, beep. I like the, the sounds of that. What's in here? Uh, nothing, I guess. Wee! Yay! Hooray for nothing! So let's see, if 142. Wasn't I uh, 427? Yeah, my number was 427. Uh, I can't press the big red button, never mind. I thought maybe I could do a thing like that. Five? What? I'm a little confused. What was that? I can press certain buttons. Is there a reason behind that? Is there a reason? Is there a reason I can press these buttons? I can't press the big red one. That is weird. I don't understand. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna leave now. Mind controls idle awaiting input. Okay. What do we got here? What, what? And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Okay, voice in my head, I'm going to listen to you for this one time and one time only. Oh, what did I do? Did I do good? Ooh, I see a little line. Oh, I can see something. I don't know what it is. Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Uh, uh, what are we doing? Um, yes. He had won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. Hmm. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. And perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. This is weird. Why? 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 It, why is this open door to the... Uh, I thought we went really deep underground. I thought we were deep underground. Why is there this just convenient big door from a big building, a big establishment, with nothing outside except for like a barn, hills, and like a fucking cobblestone path. With, with rock walls. Where are we, in Ireland or something? What the hell? I ain't going out there. I ain't going out there. You, you gonna talk to me, voice? Talk to me, no. You have forced me to go outside, aren't you? Five, four, three, two, one. No voice in my head gonna tell me what to do. I guess he does. Well, and Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen, and Stanley was happy. Ooh, that that was nice. That was nice. Beat the game. I beat the game. I unlocked achievement. I beat the game. I did it. I done do it. Oh, hey, I'm at the beginning again. Okay. Uh, that, I guess we get to try again. What do we do this time? How about I really quickly rush back to where I was? And I go through All that. Co-workers were gone. What could it be? Shh, 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 shh. I rush over and I go through that escape door instead Stanley this time. To go to the uh, I go through the escape door this time. Okay, okay, let's do that. Okay, five, four, three, two, one, go. 
do 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 his boss's office. Um, this wasn't open before. Hey, wait a minute. This wasn't open before. Huh? What the hell? Business strategy. This is new. I wasn't able to open this door before. I'm going through this instead. I feel I um okay. I heard somebody. Is that the guy? Yes. I can't understand him. Okay, I actually had to press a button. Wait, no, no, wait. No, it brought me back. What? No. What? Uh, wh wh Pardon me, but what? Did. could hear him saying something like oh shit i don't i don't know i don't i don't understand i don't understand G game game Wh why why stepping into his manager's office stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life what could it mean stanley wondered aloud to nobody he began wildly tearing through papers on the boss's desk, pulling books off the shelf, looking behind paintings, desperate for clues to his situation. That his attention was caught by a keypad behind the boss's desk. What could its purpose be? In fact, this keypad guarded the terrible secret that lay buried below his feet. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number, 2845. But of you course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. I'm not I'm not gonna go through the door. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. I wanna hear what you have to say. Forgot 
but it turns out that the panel's emergency override kicked in, <laughs> and the door just opened all by itself. And Stanley got the hell along with the story. Well, whoop de do. Well, no, that wasn't the same thing. Never mind. I'm, I'm just gonna cut that part out anyway. So never mind. Charge! Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read "Mind Control Facility." No, I didn't. I'm here. I'm back, everybody, and I'm going through the escape. I'm escaping. Although this passageway had the word "escape" written on it. The truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. Ooh, this is a long, narrow hallway. Actually, this is kind of creepy. It's kind of... The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. Um, I'm, uh, I'm gonna ignore you for now. Because this, this hallway... Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. Yes, yes I am. What is my death? What is my death, voice in my head? Tell me! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hey, now. Hey, now. Oh. This really is my death. Okay. Dead I go! Bye, cruel world! Oh. It's loading! Oh, are we loading? We're loading! We're loading. Whoa! Oh, hi! What? I should have died. I should have died! Why am I not dead? As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise, he reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Oh, thanks! See the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story. Trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plucking the eyeballs from a blind man. Um. So he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. No! No! Stanley. No! 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 Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator. As Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. What? In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. Huh? What? 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 Huh? 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 And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? Oh. Um, game, are you breaking the fourth wall really, really hard right now? You really, really are breaking that fourth wall really, really hard. What? When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Oh. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? Oh my god, this game! What? Ah! Ah! It's where I started! Oh my god! Office layout! The blueprint shows the office from the beginning of the game. The path from Stanley's office to the two doors from the first path of the game that was built. Sections have been added to altered throughout development through the core layout. Remains almost identical to the first alteration. Oh, Stanley's computer. What is going on? Nature paintings. This is like the ending of an RPG when you get to see all the goddamn assets. Filing cabinets. What was that? Uh, two doors. The set two open doors was the very first concrete piece of Stanley Parables designed. Once the room is, was created, the room of the game emerged as an extension of it. An exploration of the contradictions of this room posed. What? 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 Corridor. The pacing of this opening section was important to get right. This corridor has been moved and altered to make sure the player reaches the two doors in a good time. Oh! This game is... is... is fucking something else! The office! 
Uh, uh. Button sounds. A selection of sounds used throughout the game when buttons are pressed. Each sound is a mix of a keyboard stroke and a synthesized tone. What? I think I found this this ending a little early. Somebody was playing solitaire. Ah, uh, employee database. Oh my God! It's the credits. I did find the Kevin Kevin Brighting. You were. An Awesome voice actor, by the way. You are a f awesome voice actor. Also, ooh, it's in here. Oh my God! Why is there so many ways to go? Why the maintenance room? The early version of the maintenance room. So this is the place I went through. I don't think I was supposed to come here. The Stanley Parable. The point of Stanley Parable HD Remix is to win. The yeah, point is to lose! There are screenshots of the Stanley Parable HD Remix. More endings, fewer endings, more narrators, fewer narrators, more Stanley, less Stanley. I Am I going crazy? Maybe it isn't the same image. Was that clock there before? I don't remember. How do I go back? Can I check? Can you check for me? Green light. On December 2013, we submitted Stanley Parable to Green Light. Valve's process of approving games for Steam. In Greenlight page, there are only a series of cryptic photos, which were still enough to win a commentary approval. Well, uh, well technically, you you don't really have to do too much to get through. I, I shouldn't have come here. I should have done other things first. I should have done other things. Office clock. Uh, boss's office. Oh. It's down there. I kind of want to come back after I beat the game. Freedom ending this very incarnation. I fucked up. I fucked up. I fucked up. I shouldn't be here. Let me out. I don't want to be. I don't want to fuck up the game for myself. Oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. I wasn't supposed to be here my second time through! I Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. But listen to me. You can still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. What? Just escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now and it'll be your only true choice. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't, don't let Oh, God, all right. Begin the game again. I'm sorry. I'll do what you say. Oh my god, this game is... This... This game... Oh god, this game! Why? Why this game? Why? Oh my good god. I'm sorry. I don't know what I'm doing. This game is... It's fucking... Oh! Oh my god! Why? Uh, oh, here's the input. In Input received. Oh my god! Every time I come through here and click that, uh, find that computer, the one that's on with that input, every time I uh, put it in a new input, it, uh, it adds something else to it. So I guess I go to it every time I get another ending.